and in this video we are talking about letting your relationships flow no idea why i was doing the honolulu thing anyway um so what even is honolulu <laughs> so letting your relationships flow hmm well many people have this thing of dealing with relationships that aren't serving them no longer we can look at it in in two ways we can look at it in equator in, in regards to acquaintance acquaintances and we can look at it in terms of our attachments like our actual network of our life right because really we need to understand that our life is really in the individuals we surround ourselves with or have in our lives you know think about your life without people you know do, are you part of a sports team do you play a solo sport like tennis or darts would you still play that sport if you didn't play with anybody okay what is it about playing sports well there's something about getting better and receiving adulation and admiration you know think about spending time with your loved ones these think about work you know all work involves somebody else there is no work without somebody else on the other end to buy that item receive that service enjoy you know all work is about people now the issue comes when we are essentially giving our time and our energy to people that doesn't quite sit right with us doesn't quite fulfill us you know I'm not talking about just generally being triggered or dealing with certain people in your family that like you don't want to deal with no I'm really talking about those individuals where for some reason you feel a need to keep them around or to maybe receive acknowledgement from and really this practice of letting your relationships flow is a simple one it's just to understand divine timing just because you haven't spoken to someone for a while doesn't mean you need to go out of your way to speak to them the question we could ask ourselves is do I want to speak to this person in this moment even down to when somebody crosses your mind you know doesn't mean that you need to engage with that person immediately if there's a genuine want to get in touch and to reach out then do so also allow the people in your life that want to connect with you to connect with you and vice versa you know you don't want to become hard to reach i think the other thing is to understand that all the relationships you have is really about how you're being so it's not that this person doesn't want to engage for their own reasons it's, it's you know your how your relationship is is down to you if it's open and, and free-flowing that's because you're being open and free-flowing if it's closed and stagnant that's because an aspect of you is closed and stagnant but either way it's a case of allowing it to be what it is and this is really the message is to embrace how it is also it's about being honest being honest about 
what it is. You could have a great relationship with somebody that's open, honest, loving, connected, really expansive and helping to grow both of you. But in your head, you could be complaining about how it's not working, it doesn't work. Or there's aspects of yourself or themselves that you don't like. And this is what I mean about you're not really being honest. In this way, I guess you could say we're self-sabotaging, right? You have a great thing, great connection with somebody, and you're talking yourself, yourself out of it. And in that way, you may be influencing your behaviors. So in this way, we're not allowing the relationship to flow, to, to blossom naturally. An opposite of that would be, we have a relationship that is stagnant. It's actually time for that relationship to dissolve, to be eradicated. You know, it doesn't work. The communication isn't back and forth. It's not flowing. Maybe it's one way. But in your head, you're telling yourself that things are all good. I enjoy spending time with this person. When we connect, it's great. When in reality, it's not. You know, maybe it's a bit awkward, doesn't flow, it's uncomfortable. Or even like I said, yeah, it's just like one way traffic, right? So again, it's about being honest. Is this relationship actually good for me? Or am I wasting my time and my energy on something that should be being let go of? And ultimately it's about understanding your beliefs about what relationships should be and being comfortable with allowing them to be whatever they are. Just because your friends believe if you're in a romantic relationship, it means that you should be speaking on the phone every day. Or if that's not the case, you only speak once every few weeks and you're both happy with that. When you connect, it's amazing. Then don't talk yourself out of an amazing connection that happens once a month. Let it be what it is. In particular, I'm thinking about romantic situations, connections. Maybe you have just a physical connection, which is amazing. But again, there's a part of you that wants or needs it to be more. Well, have a look. Is you guys meeting up once in a blue moon and bumping uglies, is that working for both of you? Is it really amazing? And is it cool how it is? Well, if it is, let it flow, let it be. Don't let your mind get in the way and sabotage it. If you want other things, other, maybe you really deeply want a deeper connection, one that hits not just on a physical level, but on many different levels, and you feel that this connection is hindering that, then make the right decision. Also let it go. And that's it really, it's just to embrace however it is. If you're letting it go and it's going, then let it go. But don't let it go and then think, oh, it's going, it was so amazing, and then bring it back. Because <laughs> again, you know, you're let your, essentially the best way to, to really understand this is just, is just to feel the energy flow. Is this closed or is it open? And then you don't even need to act, you just need to embrace. And it doesn't matter what end is open or closed on.
if it's open on your end and closed on the other end well the energy is still not flowing so yes I have an open invitation but if it doesn't come back no problem let's say you want to spend more time with a friend and this friend is for whatever reason not reciprocating them or send an open invitation hey thinking about you let's catch up soon you could even say you know I'm free on these times these days let me know what works for you and leave it there and if it's meant to be they'll come back and yeah like feel into it you know maybe they're super busy so maybe you do have to put in a little bit more effort to catch up with them but if it starts to become tedious or needy or if the energy starts to shift it doesn't feel good for you anymore to keep reaching out keep trying keep organizing or maybe you get the sense when you're together that they, they would rather be somewhere else they're just doing out of an obligation really use your intuition say okay cool I can see that things aren't quite resonating between us again no problem even for yourself if you have a group let's say sports team or a men's circle for example and they meet on a certain day but you rather spend time with your family on that day don't force yourself into the men's circle or sports team just go with what flows maybe now isn't the right time for you to be involved in those groups or maybe there's a different group on a different day that you can get involved with that works for you that flows better and this is really it it's about harmoniously being in flow and being in balance with the flow life So I know a lot of people have difficulties with this. It's all to do with, as usual, the mind, understanding your psychology, how the mind works, what are your motivations for maintaining relationships. I'd love to know if you have dealt with this in the past, if you found it hard to let go of relationships or if you spend time with people you rather not. And yeah, I guess some understanding around that even is if somebody who is not good for you is engaging with you, saying, just naturally let it go. You know, you don't need to be rude about it. And if it gets to a point where they're being persistent about demanding your energy and your time, it doesn't work for you, then just a question of having an honest conversation let them know where you stand you don't have to lie or make excuses just be honest say oh, it doesn't work for me to meet you and again it's not about closing the door on them completely just be be honest say oh you know i'd rather do other things at the moment than spend time with you You know, and it doesn't even have to be so heavy or even diplomatic. You just have to be honest. Because then that will open a gateway to honest communication. If they get offended or upset about it, then you can talk about that and being offended and upset. But trust yourself, trust your intuition, trust your energy and let your relationships flow in whichever direction it's time for them to flow in. Peace.